Good morning ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Uh, today we're going to look at the volume and capacity word problems. So let's look at... Is planning... Sorry, Jenny is making a fruit punch for a party. She is using the cylindrical bowl shown and will fill it to 5 centimeters from the top. If each of the party cups hold 250 milliliters, find the number of drinks that can be served from the bowl. Okay, let's do a bit of highlighting, see what important information we have. So we've got a cylinder, um, and we're looking at it's being filled uh, to five centimeters from the top, and then each cup can hold 250 milliliters, and we're trying to find the number of cups. So luckily for us, they've drawn for us a diagram, otherwise we would have to draw our own diagram. Um, we've shown here in the diagram that the diameter of the cylinder is 40 centimeters and it's 25 centimeters tall. But it does say in the question that it's being filled from the top of five centimeters. So it's not reaching to the top, but only this bottom part is being filled up. So the top 5 centimeters is not being filled, whereas the bottom 20 centimeters is being filled because there's a total of 25 centimeters in height. So let's first work out the volume of this bowl, this cylindrical bowl. So volume of bowl, default formula for volume is area of base times height. Area of base in this case is a circle, so it's pi r squared times height. Do we have radius? No, let's do a little side calc. So diameter is 40, radius is half diameter. So that's 40 halved, which is 20. So coming back here, pi lots of 20 squared lots of the height, the height of the amount of juice being filled is 20 centimeters because it's five centimeters away from the top, the rim of the bowl. So putting this into a calculator, we get 251.32.74. Now look at the units. We've been given in centimeters. So, so far this answer is in centimeters cubed. Now, we now need to talk about 250 milliliters, the number of cups. So right now our units aren't matching up with milliliters and centimeters cubed, but that's an easy fix because we know that one centimeters cubed is one milliliters. So this many milliliters is how much juice we have. Why? Since one centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter. So if every cup can hold 250 milliliters, then how many cups do we need? We just need to divide our total volume by the volume of each cup. So English word equals number of cups is equal to our total volume divided by the volume of each cup, which is in a, uh, which is 250. And it's okay to divide because both have the same units of milliliters. If they're not in the same units, then you need to do some unit conversion. So using a calculator, we get 100.53 cups. So this is saying that we can fill 100.53 cups. Now, it really doesn't make sense to only fill half a cup, 0.53 of a cup at a party. So really, we can only fill a total of 100 cups. So we're going to approximate this. We're going to round down to 100. It doesn't make like, the poor person which only has half a cup of juice to drink. So sentence conclusion. Therefore, Jenny can fill 100 cups of juice.